So here we have the Toyota iGo on a 17 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of the car from there. As you can see, given the size of the car, we've got plenty of boot space, very deep boot, uh, including that 50-50 split folding rear seat as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle. And in the middle of that, the total mass of the car, which is 24,322, beneath which you can see the fuel gauge for the car. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo controls. We have phone controls on the right-hand side. And behind the steering wheel, the minus and plus paddles, which will enable you to change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, we then have the main touchscreen for the car. So we're on the audio menu at the moment. Uh, you can see that we've got DAB radio available to us. Uh, there's various different ways you can listen to your music. FM, AM radio as well, USB input, auxiliary input, and Bluetooth audio so you can stream your music wirelessly. That is, of course, once you paired your phone, which you can do just here. There are, are certain uh, Toyota-friendly apps that you can pair up as well, should you wish to do that. Working our way down, we have the start and stop button to start and stop the engine for the car. We have our hazard warning lights and then climate control. So you can adjust the temperature, first of all. The fan speed, you can increase and decrease from there. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. And when you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning off or back on from there. If you hit auto, the car will take control of the uh, direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain the temperature that you've asked for. You can manually override that at any time you wish to. Beneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, USB and auxiliary inputs, and then the gear lever for the automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.